morning you guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Kelsey and I am a second year second grade teacher who is currently nine months pregnant and baby girl will be here in about two and a half weeks so I am so excited but today is Monday morning and I am in my classroom and the point of this vlog isn't pregnancy related it's actually work related because this week is my last week well half week of work before I go on maternity leave and I am all sorts of emotions so um I'm not going to be vlogging like the whole week I'm only going to be working Monday Tuesday Wednesday this week and um Wednesday is my last day so I'll be vlogging on Wednesday and share with you all the things on that day um I am starting the intro today though because Wednesday is just going to be a busy day in itself and I really just want to focus on sharing with you guys so I just wanted to get the intro out of the way. I am full of all sorts of emotions. I'm excited because of course me leaving means me you know having a kid and meeting her finally but me leaving also means me leaving my job, my career, my students, my families. So um, it's a mix of emotions and I'll share more on Wednesday most likely, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. Um, also, any new mamas out there, if you are experiencing pregnancy, let me know how you're doing. Or if you have experience going on maternity leave, please let me know how that was for you just because I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> I'm not used to not working and I'm nervous. I don't know, lots of emotions. But anyways, so I will actually see you guys on Wednesday, but I'll see you guys in like two seconds. So see you soon. Good morning, guys. Today is officially Wednesday, which is my last day of school before maternity leave. And I'm full, full of emotions. I'm like happy, excited, anxious, sad, um, nervous, just all of those things. And I'll catch you guys more up after school with all of that um but yeah today's the last day and it feels so surreal like we're here and that means that baby girl is almost here as well um today's gonna be a pretty chill day for the most part um i'm still gonna be teaching my normal lesson plans nothing super crazy but what i am gonna do is during lunch i'm gonna have a lunch bunch with them i got them some cookies and juice boxes so we're gonna just watch a movie in class let them eat lunch and then towards the end of the day I made them goodie bags which I'll show you guys in just a second sorry so I made them goodie bags so I'll give them that and then at the end of the day I'm going to walk them to their new classrooms that they're gonna be with um, all the students pretty much already know all the teachers like we're a pretty tight team and we do a lot of things in collaboration with like our students so like they walk to other classrooms or they get a part of the day in another classroom so things like that so it's not really gonna be a shock like oh this is a brand new teacher I'm gonna have like the kids already know the teachers it's just a matter of like officially transitioning them into their classroom so I think it's gonna be a smooth transition I don't think we have anything to really worry about but um so they're going to do that and then at the end of the day it's just going to be for me to kind of tidy up around the room i'm not tearing down my entire classroom i'm gonna come back over the summer and do all of that i'm gonna just kind of tidy it up take home anything that i think i want to take home and kind of just go from there so um like i said about the goodie bags i did want to go ahead and show you how i put them together so i'm going to insert a clip right now
as you can see those were the little goodie bags everything was from walmart and dollar tree i think the total amount was like less than 15 dollars but it's goodie bags for 20 kids and it's fine um so i did that yesterday i also gave my team a little like gift as well yesterday which i'll insert some pictures here i gave it to them yesterday instead of today because one of my teammates was not going to be here today and i wanted to kind of have that moment with all of the all of them together so i took care of giving it to them yesterday but right now the time now is 7 15 kids will be in in about 15 minutes so i'm going to just go ahead and get set up for the rest of the day um you know pull up all my powerpoints take a look over my lesson plans eat some breakfast drink some coffee and then we're gonna get this crazy last day started Alrighty, you guys it's the end of the day i'm sitting in my room in the dark right now because um like the school day isn't officially over yet but um I went ahead and transitioned my students to their new classrooms. And it's hard. And I didn't think it was gonna be this hard. And I'm full of emotions because I know that this process has to be done in order for me to meet my little girl and I'm so excited for that. But these are my babies too, you know? And it is, really really hard i had some well they were all like i'm really gonna miss you and of course i had some that really started crying and then i had a, you know the majority of them were pretty good but i had a few that really started crying or they just like they were just kind of down and it's just crazy how attached you get to these kids you give your life to them you really do at least I did. I tried everything I can every day to make sure their needs were met, that they were learning, that they felt loved, even though they would try my patience sometimes, but those are my babies. And so it's really, really hard, but it's done. They know their new teachers, you know, like this is their new teacher, you know? And I wrote a message this morning to all of my parents they were all so lovely and nice and sent so much love and that they were going to miss me and that how I'm such an amazing teacher and just all positive, amazing, beautiful vibes, but it doesn't make it any easier. So anyways, I'm really going to miss these kids. And I mean, I really, realistically, I could come back at any point, like visit them or do whatever, but like, I'm not their teacher anymore, you know? So... They love their goodie bags, that's for sure. They loved it. We had a pretty chill day. We had a nice lunch bunch, but yeah. So the rest of the afternoon after school is officially out, I'm just going to be cleaning up a little bit in here. I'm gonna sit with my team. Well, they're gonna come in my room, take things that they need. A couple of students were absent, so we need to take those things to them and just like, officially wrap it up until I come back in summer and really wrap it up but I just wanted to share like real life experience and this is what a heartbroken teacher looks like um if any teacher tells you that they don't get attached to their kids they're lying they are because I was fine until like I officially dropped them all off and I started walking back into my room and then it kind of hit me like this is it so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and head out I have um like paperwork stuff to do before I leave and then I'll, I'll probably go ahead and catch up with you guys later when it's, I'm all said and done so anyways I'll see you soon I'm in a 
much better headspace and in my car. Um, I just wanted to kind of catch you up. As you saw a little bit in the clip, I was just kind of tidying up around the room. My team needed extra tables and chairs because now they have extra kids because my kids are split amongst the other four teachers. So each teacher got five new students and um, it kind of works out because the kids all kind of know the teachers and all of that, I think I've mentioned it before. So it's pretty good transition for them. But um, so they were taking the tables. I was just kind of cleaning up a little bit. So that way when I come back towards the end of the school year and summer to like clean out my room, it's just easier for me in my headspace um, just to walk into like a decent classroom versus a disaster. So hey, you guys, today is actually now Friday and I'm home and I didn't realize that my phone just kind of like shut off. I guess someone was calling me or something. But um, so I wanted to just wrap up this video on my Instagram. I did post uh, if you had any questions for me in regards to like my job and me leaving and all of that to so go ahead and leave them down below. And then I did get a few questions. So I wanted to answer those questions before I end this vlog. So I had a couple of people ask me about like what's happening with my class and then with like my sub and lesson plans and all of that. So as I mentioned in the video, my class is actually split up between the four other teachers in my second grade team. So they, I won't need a sub uh, because they'll be all in their own class. And so that being said, I won't be doing any sub plans or anything like that because my kids are just gonna continue learning whatever is on like the curriculum map with their new teachers. So I did not have to prepare any lesson plans or anything like that. What I did do is I like, kind of ran down each of my teachers a little and gave them a little bit of information about each student that they were getting like if there's any deficits or any um like incentives that i do for them or like how they learn best or what i found works and what doesn't work for them things like that so i did give them a little rundown on each student again they pretty much knew the students but a little bit more of like a personal level i guess you can say so I did that, um, but for the most part, just me leaving was very smooth and I'm really happy and thankful for that, that it wasn't so stressful. Um, I had a couple other questions about me returning to work. So I'm actually not gonna be returning to work this school year. My maternity leave leads literally right up until like the last week of school. So there is no point in me going back. If by that point I decide I wanna go back for like a week or so it's just gonna be to help out my team I won't be getting my class back or anything like that but it'll just be to like help out my team if there's any testing that needs to be done things like that for the following school year that may be something that I might do but for the most part I really don't think I'll be going back to school um, I think I'll just finish off the school year on maternity leave and then just go back over the summer to clean out my classroom, pack it all up, and do all the teacher things. And then the last few questions that I got were just about baby and how I'm doing and all of that, and um, when baby will be here. So my original due date was February 24th, but uh, she was breached for pretty much most of my pregnancy. She actually just recently ended up flipping, and now she is head down, and so my doctor, did leave the c-section still scheduled for the 17th just in case she ends up flipping again last minute but if not then i will be getting induced on the 17th so that's literally less than two weeks away from today so i'm super excited for that um so when people ask me when will baby be here i tell them the 17th because i know that that's the last day that she could potentially come unless she comes earlier um, so yeah, so she will be here February 17th or earlier. I'm doing great. I'm just now really focusing on just my pregnancy and, you know, cleaning up and nesting and all those fun things now that I don't have to worry about work and I can just really focus on me and her. Um, but for the most part, I'm doing really, really well. And now that it's two days later from the last day of work, I was an emotional wreck, but I am so much better now. I feel so much better. And I know that, you know, there is a lot of positives that are to come and the kids are doing great because I still keep in touch with the teachers and um, they're doing great. They're doing fine and it's all working out perfectly. 
So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is the last like teacher video for a while and I know it was kind of all over the place, but I just wanted to share my last day experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also go ahead and give me a follow my Instagram. Those of you that have been around for a while, you may notice I changed my channel up a little bit and i love it i'm so excited for this new journey especially when my little girl comes i'm really really excited for her so anyways i will see you guys in the next one and be safe and have a great one bye